Right, I'm going to try and solve that problem there. Find the area of this triangle to the nearest point one of a centimetre squared. And the triangle has a base of eight centimetres and sides of six and seven centimetres. And I've already drawn the eight centimetre on the piece of paper over here. Right. So I've got my pair of compasses ready and I've drawn the 8 centimetre on the piece of paper and the next one I'm going to draw is this 7 centimetre line. So I'm going from 1 to 8 because it's a bit easier to do it one handed. That's 7 centimetres long, just show you. It's a bit blurred that, isn't it? Too close. Okay, you can see seven centimetres there, perhaps. Put it on one end, exactly on the end, and draw the arc. Should be good enough. And then six centimetres. I'm going from one to seven. There it is, exactly six centimetres, and you go from the other end, draw the arc, you can join those two up, which is really difficult, one-handed. Almost impossible one-handed, join them up, can't do it one-handed, and then measure the angle. So there's my angle measurer, the tractor and the angle looks like it's going to be, well, I'll need to be more accurate than that, but it looks like it's going to be around 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 58 degrees maybe. I'll have to do it more accurately with another hand. And that one looks like it's going to be 10, 20, 30, <sighs> Let me see if I can put this camera down. And I can't put it at an angle. I need a... What do you call it? A bean bag. Nice balance there. No. crossing point of the two arcs to the end of the base of the triangle, the eight centimetre, the one end of the eight, and the crossing point of the arc, oh it's wobbling, to the other end, and now I can measure the angles accurately. It's going to be difficult again, one-handed. Okay, that's that on there. And the angle here is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 57. Okay, it's exactly on the line there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 46. 57, 46, and let's do the last one. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, six. Is that what I said? Let me just check. Measure twice. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, six, fifty seven, that's right. <clears throat> forty six, that's right. And the last one is ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy five, seventy six. Looks like seventy five now.
Anyway, we'll leave it at 76 because 6 and 6 is 14. Ooh, better left it, should have left it at 75, shouldn't we? Seem to be one degree out. Let's just see. 76, 57 and 46. If we add those up, 6 and 7, 13 and 6 is 19. 7 and 5 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 179 degrees. So I'm a degree out for the three of them. That's okay though. 